Are you scared? Guys, it's just, it's just me. It's just me. It's Erica Mans. Sorry if I scared you. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not real. Imagine if it was. And I'm just like, that was my Halloween costume. I'm, I'm probably like the smallest uh, Jason you probably ever seen, right? Hello and good evening. Welcome back to, how many days have I been doing this? Four? The fourth. Fourth vlog this week, November 4th. It's 7-Eleven, baby. I just had dinner. I'm a, <clears throat> I know, I know this is gonna be another late video. Hopefully next week I could update like a little bit earlier. We'll kind of go through my morning routines and whatever. But I am drinking this, which my friend Lindsay got me all the way from Maryland. And it was really cool. I had this at her house the other day when we were watching Pearl. And it was a good beer, and I just thought this was so cute. Look at little Jason, look at a cutie. This is called Juicin Voorhees, double India pale ale. And it says, ch -ch -ch, hop, hop, hop. And it is hoppy, tell you that much. And it has a little thing, it's like, <laughs> Juicin Voorhees is a pariah, double IPA sporting and unstoppable depth of character, yet remains graceful despite its elevated strength. In the glass, it pours an opaque, golden hue with a frothy white phone and pungent peach grapefruit and lurking soft tropical fruits on the palate. Brewing our fall seasonal is something we greatly for to eat. Oh my god, Alexa! Alexa! Stop! That's the only thing I hate about Alexa, they have ads. Brewing our fall seasonal is something we greatly look forward to each year and hope you will enjoy it as the nights cool and the foliage turns. I don't have an IPA glass, but this is 8.1% Oh my god, drink within 90 days of print date? Dude, I've been drinking old beer. Brewed on August, 90 days. I think I'm in th the threshold. I have to drink this right now or else. It is very fruity though. <clears throat> it's a glass that Jade got me. It's not an IPA glass, but you can't. I just got a job so I could actually invest in like, wow, they weren't lying about the prop. <gasps> Mm -mm. Don't you there. Hold on. Cheers. They weren't lying about the frothy top. They they weren't lying. They were being very serious. Okay, now I'm just going off on tangents. But it is Friday. I am off from work tomorrow and Sunday, baby. This means I can actually work on some actual content. And it won't be just me talking in front of the camera. And I mean, I, you'll still get vlogs, okay? Because that's what the budget calls for. But tomorrow I am going out. Sunday I might do something. And we I want to do a couple of things in the morning next week. So I think that would be cool for you to kind of, I don't know, spend the morning with me. But uh, other than it being Friday and just like being off from work and, you know, knowing I have a job, like, I don't know, all these good things that are coming from just... Uh, taking my hiatus from Instagram and just like focusing on my mental health is and honestly I'm kind of bummed out that I'm not on Instagram so if you see me um very soon I might reactivate Clenched by Craft because I have very good news. I would say sometime in the spring I won a grant from the Women of the Be Bevolution who are basically kind of focusing on supporting more women of color within the craft beer industry and more, you know, LGBTQ plus friendly and more women. So it's very, um, an amazing opportunity. And I had actually applied to the Women of the Bevolution, uh, basically grant of $300. And at that point, I really wanted to get some equipment. So, and also like go to a couple of events and support some of my local content creators. So when I won, <laughs> the grant i was ecstatic and i also got to meet up with two prominent women within the craft beer industry and they were just gave, giving me their uh two cents on how to grow my audience and how to move forward with my beer page so that's also one of the reasons why i before i deactivated i was very consistent on putting content out and i was uh curating a lot more 
so it meant a lot to me to you know do th do that <laughs> win that and i also got an interview good beer hunting is a critical creative and curious voice in the world of beer so i got interviewed by uh, one of their journalists beth demon and i got featured in the article tell you my quote about how it made me feel to win it feels so surreal seeing my name but yeah for recipients <clears throat> for recipients for recip recipients like mans there was a third aspect that helped boost them up as well it just kind of gave me a glimpse of hope she says even though i have a lot of growth left in the industry i have so much support even though sometimes i feel not the not the best my journey is very young and to just have that much support as someone who's just starting it's only been a year or so it just means a lot to me it kind of gives me that push that energy that i need that i'm capable of doing this again i haven't been in within the beer industry for too long i've been drinking beer for a long time but i haven't been involved in beer for a long time so it means a lot to be interviewed and asked these questions and to be looked up upon and to also continue learning and be given opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten if I didn't do something that I was scared of doing. So it's a good day. I should be on Instagram right now, but I just, I can't. Uh, I'm just still mentally kind of really off. I'm really just trying to focus on my job and on my work and what I want to do within this space. And uh, I'm just prioritizing other things in my life because um, I also want to cut down on my drinking because when you're an addict, you can't help but blur the lines between uh, doing this for content or 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 for work. And, and the lines get blurred with, oh, I'm just drinking to drink. You know what I mean? I had to really put the pause button, start disciplining myself again. And it's been good for these past couple of weeks. But today, it's Friday. I'm in a really good mood. And it's a celebration. So I'm kind of filling it up no need to worry and if you are home like me um i'm gonna put the link in the description down below please take a read and if you can follow these wonderful people on instagram whether it's woman of the bevolution whether it's good beer hunting or any of the other uh grantees that won please like reach out to them follow them if you can put this on your instagram because i can't promote it but i would love for my friends to share it with my other friends that'd be great but if you're gonna drink it right now <clears throat> if you're gonna drink it right now if you're gonna read it right now and you have a little beer then come go get go get your beer go hurry up i'm gonna wait yeah i'm waiting hurry up i'm gonna do a countdown five four three two one okay thank you Cheers. Cheers to um, being scared and doing it anyway and succeeding. Happy Friday till tomorrow. Oh my God, how long has the camera been there for?